Hi everyone. This is Sherry. You've seen me on Greg's channel before. This time I want to tell you about my new voice. I think you can tell it sounds pretty good. And the neat thing about it is, it's AI generated. But it's not generated from text. It uses your own voice as a guide. So, if you want to do some interesting things like voice acting or sounding really angry or something like that, it'll all come through. Let me show you a few more things you can do with it. For example, one of the things you can do is change the voice completely. You can see, I don't want to sound quite the same. But I still sound like a woman. It's a neat trick. Or I could make it even more drastic change, like sounding like a man. It's not too hard. You just flip a switch, then you sound like something different. You can even train the system to speak in a voice that you create like your own or friends or somebody from radio or TV. It's pretty easy. Okay, here I am, Greg Corson, back to my normal voice that you're probably used to. I'm going to show you the program that I was using to do this. It's called voice.ai, and it's in beta and available for free from uh, the website with the same name. As you can see, you have 11,000 voices to choose from. There's quite a wide variety, although some of them do sound better than others. You can also train on a voice of your own if you have a long enough sample of good quality voice from a particular person. The other thing you can do here, and I recommend it, is you can preview each voice by hitting this triangle near the circle. When you hit the triangle, you'll get sort of a rough sample of what the voice sounds like. And if the voice doesn't sound good here, uh, I wouldn't u try to use it. They do sort of charge you for each voice you buy. You start out with credits that you can see here. And it's possible to buy more credits. Or you can earn credits just by letting them use your computer for a little while. In a couple, an hour or two, you can make enough credits to buy two or three voices. They start you with enough credits to buy about two. So... Well, what's good about this is it does a good job of doing female to male and male to female conversions without it sounding too cartoony. That's a problem that a lot of voice changers have is that they only do sort of cartoon and robotic voices and they don't do anything that really sounds natural. Whereas just about every voice here does sound natural. The other good thing is it can be used with a large number of different programs. You can see some of their icons down below here. So you can use it to make you sound different in a lot of places. The only real problem is that three second delay. Now you can set it to a faster mode with this slider here, but as you'll probably hear, the lower you set the slider, the lower the delay, but the quality goes down quite a bit. If you're recording stuff for offline use, it's not too hard to correct the three second delay. You can just do it in a video editing package by shifting the voice track a few seconds one way or the other. For live applications, it's a little bit more difficult because a lot of stuff will let you delay the audio, but in this case, you really need a delay of the video. Now, a lot of packages don't seem to do that. I'm still looking for a good solution for this. Although, in some cases, the three second delay isn't such a big deal. For example, if you were doing a live stream where your face wasn't visible. As you saw in the beginning of this video, I may not have the process of doing a lip sync with a live mocap animated character quite down yet, but it's reasonably close and I think it's something that can be solved. This time around, I'm just doing this as a demo because I haven't got all these problems quite solved yet. And in the future, I'll show you how to do it. But the one nice thing about this package is that you don't end up sounding like a cartoon caricature of another person. You actually sound fairly natural. And if you want to change the pacing or the tone or other things about the voice performance, all you have to do is talk differently in your own voice and it comes out in the new voice. That's the main advantage of this over a typical text-to-speech system. The text-to-speech systems have gone through major changes recently, and they sound quite natural. 
but occasionally they still just don't get the pacing or the emotion correct. With this, you don't have that problem. It says what you say with the same emotion and pacing. So I hope you've enjoyed this demo. I'll have a new one for you later, a tutorial that'll show you how to do this. But for now, that's all. This is Greg Corson. I hope you like this. Please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. See you next time.